Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I would like to share with you how to water a Venus flytrap properly. I have owned Venus flytraps for a few years and I have also done a lot of research about their care. So in today's video, I want to save you the time and also make sure that you don't accidentally kill or harm your Venus flytrap by using the incorrect water or using too much or too little water. So first of all, let's cover the water type. Venus flytraps can only be watered with pure water. So you can only employ rainwater, distilled water or reverse osmosis water. You can buy distilled water in most grocery stores. It costs about a dollar to get a gallon of water and this should last you for quite a bit. Uh, so it's not too expensive. It is also possible to buy reverse osmosis water. In that case, you have to go to a water store or an ice type of a store. And finally, rainwater you can collect yourself. It is free, just make sure that the water is clean before you use it for your Venus flytrap. The reason why we're using this water is because Venus flytraps can't handle any type of minerals or any type of additional components within the water. Most water, even bottled water or water from the faucet, will have added chemicals and your Venus flytraps won't be able to handle it and you will accidentally end up harming it. So to be safe, always use this type of water and then you will be all good. The second part about the watering process is the frequency. The frequency of how often you water a Venus flytrap will vary according to seasons. For example, in the winter, I usually water my Venus flytrap maybe once a week. In the summer, it gets really hot where I'm from, so I end up watering every two to three days, actually very, very often. There is no specific trick in the frequency when you water Venus flytraps, but definitely during the dormancy period, you will reduce the watering. The best trick that I have to offer is that you, for example, can use a, a cup or a little bottle to add some water into your plant. And when you use your finger and you press the soil, you should be able to feel some humidity in there, but it shouldn't feel soaked. You never want to swamp the soil. You just want it humid and moist at all times. And the strategy that I use very often is to use a container and place, and place my pot on top of the container. Then I use some water and I actually water it from the bottom. It is possible actually to water from both ways. It is possible to water it from the top, so just by using a cup, and it is possible to water it from the bottom. I just find more comfortable to do it from the bottom first because in that way I always avoid overwatering, so I can never really swamp the ground. I only add maybe like a finger depth or maximum two fingers maybe if I'm going on a trip or if I might forget later to water it and then that's it. Watering from under it is also very useful to let the roots of your plant grow. When you let it sit on a little bit of water your the root system will try to expand to actually reach the water source so you're promoting the growth of the roots. Um, beside these a couple of more items if you want to use a mister or a little bottle spray, that's perfectly fine. Venus flytraps actually like to live in a, in a humid environment and that's why misting is, is perfectly normal as long as you don't overdo it. And also placing them on top of a plate with water also increases the humidity and it end up, ends up being very beneficial for your plant. Finally, um, uh, really, really maybe the most important part of this video is to avoid overwatering at all costs. So if you're pressing that soil and it's completely flooded with water, then you might be causing rotting. You might be causing rotting. And root rot is something that can kill your plant very, very fast and you need to take action right away. Also, uh, related to overwatering, it is good to use a good draining soil or also in combination with a pot that promotes good drainage. For example, this pot that I have right here, it looks like something like this, but a lot bigger is called a net pot and in this case the water drains and also it can access the water from the bottom of this container that I, that I have right here. If you would like more information about watering, I actually have an article at venusflydropworld.com slash water where I describe all the details that I just explained in this video but I also add some instructions on how to save your plant if you have been over watering or maybe using the wrong water source. Using the wrong, wrong water source can kill your plant very, very quickly, so you must amend that right away. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe.
I will be posting content very often about Venus flytrap care, scientific facts, and growing tips. Also, in the description, I have added a link to my website, venusflytrapworld.com. Feel free to browse around.